Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Located right in the center of Europe, you will find the country of Slovakia. With crumbling castles and medieval towns that all can be found tucked away. So if you've never been to Slovakia before, let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit in Slovakia. And folks, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know there's a new video. Number one, Orava Castle. Slovakia is home to more than 100 castles, some still standing in all their glory, but some in ruins, and many are somewhere in between. Perched high above the Orava River lies Orava Castle, one of the most beautiful castles in the whole of Slovakia. It was built all the way in the 13th century. Now what's interesting is that each generation added its own touches and additions. The castle boasts a variety of architectural styles, Romanesque, Gothic and Renaissance features. So throughout the many centuries, the Oravel Castle has actually never been conquered. So go and visit and you will see why. Number two, High Tatras. A mountain range that spans the border between Poland and Slovakia. Home to the tallest mountains in the country, it makes up for some unforgettable hiking and rock climbing expeditions. The jagged peaks rise up imperiously towards the sky and you'll get to see the sparkling alpine lakes and meadows which all can be found tucked away among its many slopes and valleys which you can discover on your walks. So due to the breathtakingly beautiful landscapes, the mountain range lends itself perfectly to any type of outdoor activities. So if that is your thing, there are plenty of paths and trails for you to hike, cycle or ski along. I still think it's perfect in the summer. Number 3. Bratislava. The capital of Slovakia, set along the Danube River by the border with Austria and Hungary. Now it may not be as popular as Rome, Paris or London, however, here you can enjoy the 18th century Old Town, eat traditional Slovakian food or go for wine tasting in one of the ancient wine cellars. And there are plenty of historical sites such as the Bratislava Castle and a majestic cathedral. So you'll have plenty of time to explore every one of these activities, but point to note. As I've mentioned before in a Vienna video, it's very close to Vienna, thus being a perfect location for multiple trips. Number 4. Spisch Castle Overlooking the town of Spiška Podharadja, from on top of a hill, the vast ruins of Spish Castle cover a vast expanse of territory. And as such, it shouldn't come as no surprise to learn that it's one of the largest castle complexes in the whole of Central Europe. Wandering around its many walls, fortifications and towers is really an amazing experience. And you will find it surprising at the sheer size and scale of everything. The castle is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Slovakia. And it's easy to see why once you approach the castle and see its impressive features for yourself, the remains of the castle still defiantly look out 
over the surrounding countryside and dominate the scenery with its commanding presence. Number 5. Tarnava. Step into the enchanting town of Tarnava. It's known as the Little Rome of Slovakia. Not really sure why, but let's go with it. It's located just a short distance from Bratislava, which is an ideal destination for a short day trip. It's easily accessible by train or car, so take your pick. And it's a good way to explore a much smaller town's hidden gems, such as St. John the Baptist Cathedral, a magnificent Gothic masterpiece that dominates the skyline, and it offers the opportunity for panoramic views from its tower. So overall, Tarnava is a nice old town with a lot of old Baroque buildings, and interesting back streets within the former town walls. So because it's small, it is literally perfect for strolling around for several hours, having lunch there, because that would be more than enough time to see everything that you need to. So in my opinion, is another underrated and overlooked place in Slovakia and in general in Europe. Number six. Bojnica Castle One of the oldest and most significant monuments in Slovakia proudly stands on a mound above the city. Its origins can be traced back to the 11th century, with the first written recording to 1113. But initially a wooden castle, and later reconstructed in stone during the 13th century by the Poznan family. It's a remarkable piece of history that showcases the region's architectural heritage. Now my advice is for you to go on the Palfi and Hunyadi tour, if that's the right pronunciation, but it's just a tour and it costs around 16 euros and it's really worth it, especially for several hours. Number seven. Urhana village is a charming and very idyllic destination now think about tranquility and natural beauty. It's nestled amidst rolling hills and picturesque landscapes. So this destination will offer you a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The village showcases traditional Slovakian architecture, but the surrounding countryside provides ample opportunities for activities in the outdoors, such as hiking, cycling, and exploring the nearby forests. Number 8. Jelina Nestled in the northwestern part of Slovakia, you will find a vibrant city that seamlessly blends history, culture and even natural beauty. Another location with a charming old town, with colourful facades, cobblestone streets that we will enjoy and quaint squares, where you can really get in the mix of a lively atmosphere of local cafes, shops and people. You can visit the strikingly gorgeous square that's adorned with an iconic church and stroll around the Var River to admire the picturesque views. Now this city may not be the choice for everyone but if you've never been before it's still worth it and it's a short ride from Bratislava. Now the bonus of visiting this city is to see the Buratin Castle, which is just a few minutes walk from the historical center of Jelina. The oldest part of the castle is a massive four-story tower, built in the 13th century, right after the Tatar invasions. So this is another very interesting location.
Number 9. Lubovnia Castle Situated in the northeastern part of Slovakia, near the town of Stara Lubovnia, is a captivating medieval fortress that's steeped in history. As I mentioned before, Slovakia is a land of castles, and this is only an hour and a half's drive away from Krušice. Perched on a hill overlooking the surrounding countryside, it exudes a sense of grandeur and invites you all to step back in time. You can explore the fortified walls, wander through its courtyards and imagine the tales of knights and noble families that once echoed within its halls. And finally, number 10, Devin Castle. But this is another gem in the line of Slovak castles. And this is right near the Slovak-Austrian border. The castle can only be seen in ruins today and is visited every year by so many people from Austria, Hungary, and of course, Slovakia. So while Bratislava Castle was rebuilt, Devin Castle has remained a romantic ruin. But this hasn't diminished its attraction, since it's the most visited sightseeing venue in the whole of Slovakia. So it's one of the largest castles in the country, and it's easily accessible from nearby Bratislava. So make sure you don't miss out on this one. Okay, folks, that was 10 beautiful places in Slovakia. Thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. For more videos, just check out the playlist as always. And I will see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.